Ravish Manza. Ravish Manza working in uh, the Department of Computer Science and Information Technology of Dr. Professor Computer Mother College University of Baba. He completed his PhD in image data compression from Dr. Professor Computer Mother College University. He qualified set as well as net earlier prior to the completion of PhD. His areas of interest or areas of specialization are biomedical image processing, computer vision, remote sensing, nano robotics, and embedded systems networking, which are the areas of specialization and areas of research in which he worked. Uh, he has uh, got uh, major research projects uh, funded by DSC as well as BSC, uh, worth more than this study lab. Is he, he published uh, five books and over 100 research papers in journals, national and international conferences. And um, he is a member of several professional bodies. He delivered keynote speeches in, at national and international conferences and workshops. Today he is going to deliver a lecture related with uh, biomedical image processing. I welcome Dr. Ramesh Manja and hope it will be a nice session for all of us. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Uh, so we will start with uh, DIP within my class. And uh, here we will cover very quickly what are the basics required to learn MATLAB image processing for course. Then morphology, which is used to extract the features. Then we go for the experiments based on morphology itself. And then the case study, which is the area on which I am working, diabetic retinopathy. So this way I have talked, uh, uh, my talk is uh, divided into four parts. Uh, in prerequisite, it might be hoped that uh, the newcomers may enjoy the session, which is prerequisite. But those who are already familiar with MATLAB, uh, I request please bear with me up to the prerequisite course. Now start with the prerequisite, you will see the basic commands which will read, which will use to read the image, display the image, then play the histogram of the image. These are the basic uh, portion. So now here in uh, I am read, we have a syntax as variable is equal to I am read. And then image name. In place of image name, we can pass complete path of the image where it has been stored. That path also we can write like C colon max slash my document, then followed by the name of the image, etc. So it will read the image from the path which has been specified in this function and stored into the variable. Now this variable is of type matrix. From this onward, your image is not a picture, which is simply two dimensional matrix, right? And we all are familiar of two dimensional array processing. So, image processing is as good as simple as manipulation operation on two dimensional array or playing with two dimensional array, just performing addition, subtraction, or other possible arithmetic operation on two dimensional array is same as image processing. Then the function which is used to display the content of that matrix in the forms of picture is I am show. I am show and the variable in which we have stored the image. So it will display the image like this. Figure window will open and in that image will display. Here in this figure window we have so many different options to play directly with this image. We can crop we can do certain type of enhancement, extraction, etc. So without having any code, through this tool available with figure window, we can process this image. <coughs> now here, as when we read the image from the storage device, it comes under primary memory and along with primary memory in the MATLAB environment, we have basic two windows which will show the contents of the image which we have been read. Number one is command window where we type every command and see the output also. And another window which is workspace is the area which holds the variable in which we have stored the data.
given its value, data types, all information present over in workspace, and in command window, the command which we have been executed. First line to read, and then next command is use, which is same as dir command of DOS. Use to display what are the variables currently present in the workspace. Their details it will display, name, size, number of bytes to byte, the data type class of unsigned integer, signed integer, double, float, long, etc. And then the command prompt to which we write the different next commands. So basic two commands to read and show the event. Next important is histogram, uh, which is the basic first step used to do image analysis. Based on histogram, we used to do the image analysis. Based on this, we can able to determine the information that which type of given image it is. Basically, image divided into four types. Dark image, bright image, low contrast and high contrast image. Now, based on what the content is currently present in the histogram, it is possible to analyze which type of given image it is. Once we come to know the type of image, we can able to decide which suitable operation is required to enhance the image, to extract the features, to do segmentation, etc. Now here, if we say the histogram of given points or PNG image, it has broadly two types of data. These two groups indicate that there are two homogeneous groups present in that image. If we set a threshold in between this, then it is easily possible to divide these two independent groups. Right? So it is part of segmentation, feature extraction, etc. Now here, in this histogram at bottom we have range of grayscale value and this vertical axis is count of that particular grayscale value. How many times a particular grayscale value has been appeared? Like 50, if you see, this peak comes up to her, indicate that 50 has been occurred around 800 times in the image. Right. So this type of analysis we can do. Here, uh, the uh, image is histogram of that image is displayed in command figure comma I am histogram. Figure is required to display the histogram in another new figure window. If we remove this figure, then histogram will display on the previous figure window where already we have image. Now, based on the histogram, the different classification of image are dark, bright, low contrast and high contrast. Now, if we see the left column, then image showing the darkness more value towards zero, brightness more value towards the uh, value of like 255 for 8 image, whereas in low contrast, the Middle range we have uh, neither closer to 0 nor closer to 255, and whereas in high contrast, complete band is present at bottom uh, histogram. So, by seeing visibility, the high contrast images are good quality made based on visibility because the details of that image are possible to analyze in high contrast image. Hence, based on this histogram, we do the classification of image belongs to which type, dark, bright or low contrast. Now to convert all above three types into high contrast which we are referring as good quality, we have to do histogram equalization method. In that, the histogram band or the bands of this range of grayscale value which has been not currently fulfilled the complete band need to stretch them. We have to simply stretch those vertical bands as a range of grayscale value and pull the whole band of the histogram. Right. Now while we are stretching, we, we make this low dark image into high contrast, bright into high contrast and low contrast will stretch to both the directions or making them towards closer to zero and as well as closer to 255. Now for all of them, the process we follow called histogram equalization. While doing histogram equalization, normally it is stretching, so simply stretching, analogy is simply stretching them, 
the mathematics behind is to find the probability of occurrence of grayscale value and then find the average of that probability and replace that average in whole part of the image is the mathematics now here uh, while we make this in in the forms of matrix it's simply copying alternative row and alternative column in complete image when we see a band of image here the range of grayscale value are currently present from 0 to almost uh, near about 60 or sometimes 70 may fall. So, the other value which are 70 to 250 are absent. There are zero values currently present. So, we have to copy these and replace over the empty band present over here. So, this is done by copying alternative row and column to the place where zero values are present. Right. So, in the forms of matrix, we can play the uh, operation like that and we get high contrast event. So, quality wise, if we see, there are too much improvement has been done on the enhancement. With some statistical technique, we can check the quality, how much it has been enhanced by using standard deviation, mean, mode, etc. We can judge how much quality has been improved. The other techniques were the low contrast and uh, the uh, Dark image has been converted to high contrast, bright image into high contrast. The example of image equalization to histogram. Now in fact, to do this, we have a function HISTEQ, histogram equalization, HISTEQ. And where in default case we have to pass only one parameter which is name of the image. And in output image we have to select the output. So it will do histogram equalization. Here two parameters are passed. Out of them, first one is input image, second one is number of intensity levels present, that is range of grayscale values. That will depend upon how many bits currently your image is holding, like 8 bit, 16 bit, 32, 64, etc. For 8 bit image, total ranges start with 0 to 2 to the power 8, that is 255. So, the value of N level will change as per number of bits per pixel currently used in the image. Now here, collectively, the states perform our image has been read, histogram equalization. So, last value of range for bit image 255. Then, subplot function is used to display input image and all histogram equalized image together in one figure window. To display them in one figure window, function is subplot, having parameter size of your figure window, how many total images you are going to display and this is index number, third character is index number. First two indices indicate that the size of division of figure window and third one is the index number. So 2 by 2 is the size and sequentially index number 1, 2, 3 and 4. First, I am show F, which is original image. I am show followed by comma and title. <coughs> I am list, which is histogram. Then G, which is histogram equalized. And finally, histogram of that equalized image. Used to display four operations in one figure window. So, this will be the output. In one figure window, we have four outputs. Original image, histogram, then equalized and X histogram. Are you getting me? Now this is another way to plot the histogram. It's just the profile of histogram. To do that, image is read. Histogram I am list is performed, but here instead of displaying the output, the value is collected in variable x. From that x, few information has been extracted. Start with 1, this is the step, middle value step. So step with 10, go up to 255 extract 1, 11, 21, etc. So, step of 10, it will extract the value stored into x1 and then another variable of the same step and finally plot of those two extracted values. It simply display or uh, instead of display you may call it a subplot of profile. From here also we do certain analysis of how many groups of data present and we can select the threshold for segmentation 
for converting grayscale into binary etc. For that threshold is required. Next is image histogram of different types. Like here with the function called stem. The same earlier, but type of uh, profile display change. Third one is 